Yo, what's up guys? It's Spades back at it with another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at something called Crosshair X. So you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about my Crosshair, this little red dot right here on the screen. You can see it a little bit better right there. So that is literally just an overlay. It is called Crosshair X or just cross a Crosshair. Um, you can call it whatever you want, but the app is called Crosshair X. So people frequently ask, what is it? How are you using that? Is it allowed? All that stuff. So I'm kind of just answering some questions today. First of all, before we actually get into what it is, all that stuff, I'm going to show you guys how to get it. So to actually get it, you're literally just going to go here to the Epic Games Store. It is called Crosshair X. So you're just going to search up Crosshair X. Currently, Crosshair X as an app is only available on PC. On PC, there are two different ways to get it. Number one is you can download it through Steam. I personally wouldn't recommend Steam just because you do have to have the app open 24-7, which will affect your performance, will affect your FPS, all that stuff. So downloading it through Epic Game Store, you don't have to have any of it open. Anytime you open your computer up, it will automatically pop up. So you don't really have to worry about having something open in the background. Helps your performance a ton. This one, Crosshair X, is $7.99. So if you do want to purchase it, I personally, I think it's very, very much worth it. You can customize your Crosshair, all that stuff, which I'll show again in just a sec. But other option, if you guys don't want to spend any money, if you just search Crosshair in the Epic Game Store, it pops up with this Crosshair V2. So this is basically a free version. Only downside to this is you can't really customize it. So what you see right here, that is the only options you have. So you can't really change the size, stuff like that. It's kind of what is on the screen is what you get. You don't have any options. So that's why I think the $8 version is worth it. But yeah, so from there, you're just going to download it. The app itself is pretty straightforward. So to actually change everything, it is literally, this is what you're going to see when you open it up. You can see my little crosshair right there in the middle. So when I click on one, it'll literally just change to that. So there's a bunch of presets built into it. So you can just click on, you know, whatever your favorite pro Fortnite player is or Call of Duty, whatever you play, you can literally just click on it from there. Let's say maybe you like a certain size or shape, something like that. If you like this red run, for example, you can add that on, but maybe you think it's a little bit too big. You can go over here to position and size and you can just make it a little bit smaller. So you can adjust stuff a ton, makes it super easy for you. If you guys want to submit your own crosshair, you can. That is an option. You can even do custom keybinds and stuff on here. But to make an actual design, you can just go over here, add certain layers, add different shapes on here, change your shape, size, opacity, all that stuff. They make it crazy easy for you. But actually using it in Fortnite, people frequently ask me, does it actually affect your performance? Stuff like that. And it absolutely does. I noticed a huge improvement from using the custom crosshair after versus my original Fortnite crosshair. There's a big difference. Just because something like this, it is always going to stay in the center of your screen. So no matter where you're aiming, it'll always be in the middle. Versus with the Fortnite crosshair, it's moving around. It is off center a little bit. So if you actually look at it in game, it'll be like up here where it says quests instead of like being down in the middle. So when you're aiming in, especially with like AR sniper stuff like that, where you're kind of needed to be directly in the center, it does not help being a little bit off centered. With like shotguns, when it is aimed in, it helps a little bit. But even just like not aiming in, that's where it's going to help a ton. Just because you can shoot from farther away and you don't necessarily have to be aimed in. Just because you know where the center of your screen is at all times. To turn it off, it is also super simple. It's literally just one press of a button. You literally just hit Alt Shift Z and it turns on and off. I for some reason have another overlay for that. But it's the same buttons for everybody. You can change that button if you want. If you have a stream deck, you can change it to a certain button on there. But they make it super easy for you. So the last thing in the actual setup process is you're going to go over here to your Fortnite settings and then go over here to reticle. So on reticle, this is just the one that Fortnite has built in. You want to make sure this is turned off. Mine is already off because I already have it downloaded and everything. So make sure that is off. Other thing is because this is an overlay and it actually goes over your screen, you do have to make sure that your window mode is on windowed full screen. You don't want it on window just because that means that you're going to have all your apps and everything down at the bottom, lowers your FPS a ton. So you don't want that. But full screen is the best option, but sadly you can't use a custom crosshair with actual full screen. So when did full screen is kind of like the best option, kind of the best middle ground. So the last thing that I want to say, the question that I get frequently asked is, is it bannable? And no, it is absolutely not. This is an app that is built into the Epic Games Store. There is no way that Fortnite is going to put something in their store if they don't want you to use it. It is confirmed that it is allowed, so you don't have to worry about that at all. It is not bannable, I promise. So that's really all for the video on Crosshair X. If you guys do have any questions about it, though, please drop the questions in the comments below. I'll answer it as quick as possible. If you guys do decide to purchase it or anything in the Fortnite item shop, please make sure that you use code SPADES. It helps me out a ton. If you do decide to purchase the $8 version of Crosshair X, please use code SPADES when you're going to check out 
again, helps me out a ton. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have a great time playing Fortnite.